Hello. And, oh, uh, finally? What? What happened, Mr. Mr. Hi, Pretty and Tanisha. Thank you for buying an album. Black owned business. Um, self owned, self made. <clears throat> now, I have a few important announcements for anyone I follow on Twitter. Um, I would say follow on Instagram, but I don't really uh, notice any um, Damikas like that on Instagram. And when I do notice a Damika on Instagram, I just unfollow. <clears throat> but no hard feelings. Now, now, first of all, I'd like to say that I love you very much. Now, most of the time when I have to clock, it's maybe less than one percentile of our population in Gag City. Now, so this is to that half of 1%. Okay, there's a name for them, Damika. And also PMs. No, not for Prime Minister. Now, here's the dealio. A lot of people think that motherfuckers are stupid. The stupidest thing to think is that motherfuckers are stupid. Now, here's what will happen from here on out. I'll be making overall changes on the gram, but neither here nor there. I figured I'd come on today for everybody that, you know, needs a Nicki Minaj soundbite in order to pay their rent next month. While also entertaining the barbs and loving the barbs. I do both at the same time very well, you know? I know how to do two, three things at once, you know? Um, to ask my husband. Now, as we prepare for a very, very important, A very, 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 I cannot stress this enough, important part of not only my career, but my bond with these people that I met years ago who had no idea if I was going to make it or not, but they put their support in me, and voila, here we are. This leg of the tour is going to be very, 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 yes, monumental, for sure. Many reasons, but I cannot, I will be able to talk to you about those reasons after it, just like I wasn't able to talk about certain things prior to the first leg or prior to the first, to this album, Pink Friday 2. But let me let let me get let me let me let me let me um let me let me um adjust let me adjust let me adjust because I be on here talking real you know what I'm saying now it's clear as day 
that the barbs once again have the last laugh. <laughs> always do, always will, okay? However, what the fuck we ain't gonna do? I'm not letting, see, a paid mole, right? Oh, look, cute. Um, a paid mole is they have they have an or they have a specific set of things they must do. Okay. Some of them talking to us every day and kiki keying with us every day. They are working at a record label. I don't say anything. Um, I remember two times. I said something and kind of gave the different PMs the head nod, like, hey, I see you. And then it was, you know, within days or weeks, they was gone. Now, ask yourself, who first told you that doing or being on station head didn't count? So remember, remember there was a a, a group of uh, bushy tail cocksuckers and duck dick luckers, um, who who was telling y'all not to be on station head, etc. Um, and you didn't know that they were getting those DMs, offering them a coin here and a coin there, and that some of them had full time jobs at these um, struggling companies. Um, Neither here nor there, these dick luckers, um, they told you that, they told you that boldly, okay? And some people was believing them. But I didn't say a motherfucking thing. I just kept on Zoom with the fuck. Because I knew the smart barbs would follow suit, as they always do. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Now, here we are. Here, Here's what I will say. You have the right to suck whatever dick you want to suck. Okay? That's number one. Yes, Zion, we are getting a speech today. Number two, you have the right to lick any asshole that you want. Number two. However, now this is a new development in Gag City, okay? Clench. Clench. I'm about to go up some of y'all assholes, okay? Clench. Release, clench, here it goes. Um, so if I see anything from this point on, on my timeline, on Elon's app, it doesn't matter if you are quote unquote quote tweeting some shit to quote unquote defend Onika. That's how they all start. They have to bring nonsense. Why? Because they are extremely out of luck. They spend a lot of money, okay? Only for this album and this tour. To have them all standing there with egg on their face. Pockets inside out. Looking disheveled. Okay? 
heavy on our wind, bitch. Now, however, there are people that I've been following for years that are PMs. I still follow them now. Um, always curiously retweeting something or responding to something that no one would have seen other than if it was planned or uh, unless you search in my motherfucking name and that would be very weird. You should be searching your own name. You should be searching for jobs. You should be searching for careers. You should be in the encyclopedia. You should be learning new fucking languages or something. If you are that bored. So anything from this day on brought to my timeline. Um... You will be exiled, but you will be screenshot as well. Because if anyone retweets the person on my timeline, as we are, have already landed in Gag City Part 2, Gag City Reloaded. So right now, you know I'm on a different type of time. You understand? It's a different type of time than going on, sweetheart. Okay. Anybody that retweets it will also be screenshot and blocked, okay? That's, that's the other thing. Because it's no way you are retweeting this level of nonsense upon the timeline. It's no fucking way your life is that in order. No, it's not that. It's that... That's what they are being paid to do. Okay. So, all of y'all will be standing on the sidelines, hating with the rest of them, okay? And let me tell you, I love nothing more than a new motherfucking cocksucker promoting me. Promote me. Promote me every day. Talk about how, how much you hate me. Please, go on. Right before I had a bunch of hate, I had the biggest album. Right before I had the, a bunch of hate, I had the biggest tour. Let's go. Yay. I've made so much money, praise the Lord. So go on. Go the fuck off. But what you won't do is be on my fucking timeline being fucking dumb. Okay? And I don't care how long I've been following you. And you know me. I'm big on... You don't have to be in someone's life. You don't have to interact with someone. But you don't have to be angry at them. You don't have to hate them. You don't have to. None of those things. So it's never ever hating, you know, that anyone that I have to exile. It's just, you know, the same way the governments are on, I guess, survival of the fittest and, you know, having to Put your foot down sometimes when people either are dumb or want to pretend to be dumb. Now, we're not going to act like my numbers didn't just bankrupt. And outside of bankrupt, humiliate a lot of people, artists and executives. We're not going to act like that didn't just happen, okay? So if I see you talking about anything dumb on my timeline that you acting like you retweeted from a, a page that got one or follower or two or they just made the page and it's clearly a bot that you and your right lip and then you, you know, you retweet comments and on shit that got two comments on the shit. Every person that does that will be blocked today, tomorrow. If you want a prize, it will be taken away. Yes, the fuck it will be. 
Okay? Because it's a lot of barbs that tried hard every fucking day to win those prizes so they will get snacks back off your motherfucking neck and given to a motherfucking barb. Okay? I ain't paying your motherfucking rent. Ask yourself which superstar had to ever do that nonsense. Let me tell you something. The work, the work, the work will always speak for a motherfucking self. The work. Oh yeah, and by the way, Guess who's next? Guess who's next? Who we have caught in prime time lying on Onika. And you know I don't like that. Okay? Now, one thing you should know is that Oh, hi, all my sons listening. I know y'all, I know y'all love hearing my voice. My sons, my sons is, woof. So here's what I'm saying. Don't, and again, remember this, remember this. There are no Hard feelings. There are no hard feelings when I exile you out of Gag City. Okay. Okay. You would be surprised. Fuck around and tell you they whole uh first and last motherfucking name. And um when they thinking they being slick and sly. Anyway, so So, so please, guys and gals, don't be dumb. Be smart. Don't be dumb. Be smart. Don't be dumb. Be smart. I see you. And there's a few of you that know that I see you. Okay, I see you. Right now, while I am in tour mode, anyone that's on your timeline retweeting or replying to something. Anybody face when I go in that shit. Any foreign face, any other face that is not underneath this face, you will be over there with that motherfucker. And I don't even care who it is. 
Okay. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Um, someone said, educated gag city citizens only. That's true. That's very fucking true. Educated barbs are my favorite people. Not educated, but smart and common sense. Educated is great, too. You know, common sense gets you gets you in all the doors. Common sense gets you into the doors that sucking dick can't. Let me tell you something, y'all. I am... so in awe so in awe of the beauty all around me. I'm in awe of the way they all play its part. They all play their part, you know, like How can I say this? Oh yes, Punky B D Diva said the devil is busy. Honey, the devil is busy, but honey, God is busier, okay? He's working many miracles every day in your life that you don't even know about it, okay? So know that. But honestly, this is a really fun time. Um, this is a really fun time, and this is a really creative time, and this is a really, this is a real time to use the brain and your fucking heads. Okay? Not just shaking your ass, but use the brains in your heads. Oh, Bobby Mink said I do both. Well, that's fine, but knowing when, okay? Because probably, probably, if you meditated for a moment and thought about things from a different perspective, you probably would figure out the answer without people having to tell you what's goody. Yes, it's Rain Minaj. C O U T H, but you can't spell it either. If I come here, then if I call him, then he calls Rain and Derrida. Hoes must be eating ass because if I swear they bought him feed ass. Hold on, you don't even do my son. I should just catch you as a feed ass.
Lily the Flower said, that's exactly how I rap it, too. Oh, really? Well, that's probably why you guys was doing all of that craziness up here with trivia. Can I add you? You have a word. Um, that's right, Eileen Gag City. Um, okay, so, so basically, the whole point is creating a very safe space for not just you but for me because at this point when bitches been beat in every which way known to me I won't even allow you pieces of dirt posing as barbs to play ever again, okay? The second you do it, you're gone. I actually, um, and the other reason why I'm gonna let you know is because a lot of people be saying, like they be having that I follow them and stuff in their bio. That's fine if I do, but if I don't, don't say that. Knock it off, okay? But, I, in the last couple of days, I unfollowed a few people. It's probably hard to tell that I unfollow a lot because I also follow new barbs a lot as well, or new people that I haven't been following. However, yes, I unfollowed people today. I unfollowed about five people today, about five people yesterday. Yep. Every time I unfollow people, I feel this beautiful, great feeling come over me. You know what I mean? Like when you for, when you finally block somebody from ever being able to call you or text your phone. I'm oh, I'm the queen of that. Shit. Yeah, I feel so great knowing that I'll never like. Oh, and and. I can't see what a person who I don't follow or who I have blocked says. So make sure I don't see what a person who I don't follow says. Or you'll be right over there with the person who I don't follow. And that's fine. Still love you. Always know that. Okay. Now, let's get into the tour for, for about five seconds. The tour, what's hurting a lot of cunts and a lot of people who have been obsessed with me for many years, but who I don't pay the time of day, so they just become more and more obsessed. <laughs> what happened was they feel like fucking cunts because they they spread a lie 
about my last tour. But what was so uncanny is that some of them are so out of the circle, like they are so low on the totem pole of from where the actual orders come from that they didn't even know it was a lie. Niggas made them use their platform and get caught looking dumb, yo. Like, do you get this shit? Like, yo, fucked up they whole motherfucking reputation for Onika. Like, oh my gosh. Like, so many people. I'm talking about people all over the radio. Like, if you made me say something on the radio to people, knowing it wasn't true, I would know you, like, think of me as nothing. You think of me, like, could you imagine doing that to somebody in a platform? I, like, motherfuckers had to uh, stick their tail between their legs type shit. The fuck? But, but they, they, a lot of these people really believed. Not all of them. Most of them knew, so don't give anyone the benefit because most of them knew, but they, you see, people used to have to be a man or a woman of their word. But in, the, in this new generation where you become famous and then you become a rapper, so now all the rap sucks. Well, not all, some. Um, in the generation where these people used to have to be credible and these people wanted to be known as being credible, they don't care anymore because they just want the actual click bait, not realizing that what creates a long-term career in anything, whether you are in media or whether you are in rap or whether you are in whatever it is, whether you are a chef, it is consistently consistently being right with your take on whether or not something is or will not happen consistently being right about if you know this this I could cook this amazing thing. I'm, I, I trust me, you're gonna love it. Somebody tells you ten times, "Hey, I got this meal I want to cook for you. It tastes really good." By the tenth time, if they really, you know what I'm saying, even by the fifth time, you're gonna be like, "Oh shit!" That's why trust is built. That's why when trust is knocked down it cannot be built overnight because it wasn't built first overnight so a person with a platform is willing now to throw away the platform not realizing it's just like how people are willing to throw away their career for one night of engagement Did you hear me? How many people have we watched throw away a career over one night of engagement? Thinking that they will live to see the day when Nicki Minaj ain't the bitch she say she is. It'll Thank you.
So, Barbs, don't fall for it. You know, actually, I'd like to say that, Barbs, you guys have a strong sense of community. Don't let nobody come up in y'all DMs, offer y'all 50 cents of icy, a quarter water, and a fucking pickle, okay? And get y'all to be exiled from Gag City. Because let me tell you something. Couple months later, you're going to be sitting there stuck on stupid looking fucking dumb. We don't fuck with you. And you'll realize, well, hey, at least I got to go out to eat that night. Let me tell you something. I was never able to to give pussy away. Like, hey, you want some pussy? You want some pussy? You want some pussy? You want some pussy? Hey, let's go get some pussy. You want some pussy? Okay, let's go get some pussy. Order some pussy. Um, and I'll tell you why. Oh, hey, super creepy, creepy girl. She said she got her ticket yesterday. Yeah. It's because I always, the way I believed in my talent, I always also equally believed in my pussy. And let me make sure I, excuse me, Lord, um, don't, Lord, please forgive me. I'm not saying believe in my pussy as in I worship my pussy. I just want to make that clear. I know y'all didn't not think I was saying that, but chill yeah, no. Um, I knew my pussy Pussy Papa, I don't start. I knew my, this is real ass shit. I knew my pussy was a privileged pussy. Uh, no, not a privileged pussy. It was privileged pussy. <laughs> Yes, that's right, Pussy Papa. Privilege Pussy Papa. This is a privileged Pussy Pot. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Well, you know how motherfuckers... See, I, I've never been like a, a drinker, but I remember one time somebody gave me a, a gift. A big artist gave me a gift. And I was like, oh... This is nice, but I didn't know that it was a very expensive bottle of uh, something to drink, right? And, um, and, um, you know, I was like, oh, okay. The people around knew more about it than I did. So they were like, yo, do you know how much uh, money, how much that one bottle costs? And I said, no, I didn't. Therefore, I didn't care. Therefore, if the bottle had spilled, let's say, by mistake, I would have wiped it up with a, you know, with a towel. I would have not thought anything of it. But the people who knew it was that good good, that expensive, oh, they was treat. Not only did, it, did they treat it with care, but they sipped on it like they was safe from never sip, motherfucker. When they, when they held a glass, they caressed that glass, that ass. I mean, when they, when they spoke on that, on that bottle, they, 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 they spoke about it positively to other people, to people who didn't even know about it. And what happened? Then motherfuckers that didn't even know about it started respecting it too. I started saying, oh, okay, I'm glad y'all told me about that bottle. You know what I'm saying? Let me make sure I put it in a safe place. You see, when your 
pussy. Is A1 prime? Niggas treat that pussy like that. Oh, they will take you out if they have to over that pussy. They know they can't just go out and about everywhere, every year, every way, every day and get that level. Therefore, when they handle it, okay, just like they, they was caressing the glass, when they handle that pussy, when they talk to that pussy, they talk right. They talk nice. So what did it make me feel? I felt I know I have that A1, so I'm not going to give it around to everybody because guess what? It would go down in value. Then when they see your pussy, they go, Or however y'all been just saying, spelling it. How would you be Mikey? What happened? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sexy skimmers nine 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 said good coochie management, right? So, and it's no shame. But by the way, listen, let's be clear. This is no shame. In other words, this is about you and your relationship with your pussy. Nobody else can speak about that. Okay. You have to feel. That. Your pussy resonates at a high vibration. You see, before I took a sip of the expensive bottle that everybody had been talking about, but I didn't know anything about, so I didn't care. Before I took a sip of it, I respected it first. That means before a nigga got a chance to get up in my pussy realm, they have to respect. the greatness of this entire thing, including this pussy. They have to respect the fact that this, before I even feel this pussy, I know this pussy is next level. So when they feel that kind of pussy, before they even get in there, their mind is already playing tricks on them. They're so excited. So they ain't gonna just now get up in that pussy and then put their pants on and say, oh, they gotta run up and do something. No, because they already have a way higher level of respect prior to 
participating in the pussy. Pink Milbury said, child, talk about music. Pink Milbury is on my station head with like six people on here telling me what to do. Pink Milbury is mad that I'm talking about pussy as an, uh, as a, as a, as a, what is that word guys? As a, <laughs> what is the, oh, thank you truly Drea. As a, as an analogy, I'm using pussy as an analogy and someone named Pink, yes, thank you T.M. Baisley, metaphorically, and someone named Pink, oh, Time and I said that's because hers ain't good. Yeah, maybe we made her feel comfortable about loving her or knowing the worth of her own pussy. I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable about knowing their pussy worth. What's happening now, Camarade, what's happening now, be it with it all, is that un before a nigga even respects how much, how lucky he is for you to even be looking in his direction. Well, he's already fucked you all every way, every side of the moon. <laughs> the dark side of the moon. Shut up. <laughs> the fact that people are going to listen and they don't, the, like, people who really don't understand, they really going to think I was having, like, a serious conversation just now. They gonna be, <laughs> they gonna be like, Nicki Minaj goes off about pussy and and telling her barbs that she's gonna. Now, in Papa Bear news. He still didn't complete all his hair being done. I had to do a little <laughs> as he pushed me today. <laughs> no, no, he didn't push me. Oh, yeah, he pushed me as, yep, as soon as he woke up. It was a more of a guide, like, uh, you know, but nevertheless. But. But, um, so I had to do something quickly to take him to somewhere yesterday. I had to just hurry up and do what I had to do for us to leave. Um... However, today he was supposed to officially get it like really, really done, you know. But he just he just didn't want his hair done today. I had to ask the lady to leave because he never went that hard about it. And I um you know. I said, it's okay, buddy. Just, if you want to walk around with half of your hair sticking out open like that, and the rest half proper looking nice and neat, 
Okay. I said, fine. My husband thought that I was going to say, no, you have to, you have to, you have to. I said, no, he's probably, you know, because I had to do wash his hair and do it the following day, and then he had to get it done again. I said his, his little scalp is probably sore, so, you know. <clears throat> I just, I, I said, it's okay. He can be excused this one time. Because he doesn't really make a fuss like that, you know, so... If he's, if he, for him to, you know, do that. <laughs> Yo, he tried to get out of the chair. So he starts jump getting out of the chair. So I'm thinking he has to be. I'm like, okay, go pee pee, papa. He got out the chair. Me and the lady standing right there. And... He's walking to the bathroom. He keep looking back. I said, Papa, you're going to the bathroom, right? And he starts, like, whispering. Next, so I'm talking to the girl. Turn back around. He bought us. He's by one of the staircases. Trying to walk up to his dad before I see him. I said, oh, hey, bud. So I said, you know, I said, I said you know, it's okay. Let me, I said, I'm going to walk up anyway because I had to get something. I had another phone up there. And I said, let me just go up there with him. <laughs> so he goes upstairs. And I'm looking for my stuff. So I, but I told his dad what he did. And so I'm looking for my things. So that I can get myself situated while he's down there finishing. And um, next thing you know, he goes and starts t whispering to his dad. Um, I don't know what happened. Um... I just real I just know that Papa Bear was having you know he was he was acting like it was so this was this was horrible he just had to get about that chair okay but then once he knew the lady was gone oh no this was the other part yo wait <laughs> <laughs> when he got out the chair, when he got out the chair, the lady was being nice. And she was like, oh, okay, Papa, you know, come right back. Da -da -da. And he going to turn around to her. And he know he loves her. We both love her so much. And he going to tell her, bye, bye. <laughs> So I said, you don't tell Miss Lena, but I mean, she's going to be here. Don't do that. So he been had his plan. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so look. No, but to make a long story short, the papa who was acting like he had to get out that chair and no, he did not have to pee pee. He... When I came up there after, because I went down and left him up and said, it's okay, I'll give him a couple minutes. I came back up. He was in another room with his dad, opened the door for me, and closed the door back shut. So that she would, like, as if she was going to come up there and get him. He closed the door back shut. And, um, and I said, and he, and he was like playing and he just stood, stood behind me. So he's closer to the door. 
So, you know, I started, that's when I started telling him, you have to go down, you have to go down, you have to do it. Da, da, da. But he just, I don't know. I, I tried again, I took him down. But he just wasn't having it. We didn't even make it to the chair again. So that's when I said, hey, you know what? He's probably not into it today because I kind of did his hair yesterday and I had to wash it the day before. So he probably is just having, you know, his hair, his scalp is probably sore. So she was like, okay, that was that. But the fact that he had turned around and started saying bye to her, like, leave, go, and then closed the door behind me as if she was about to come up there like she the hairdresser uh, monster coming looking for kids. He closed the door right back and was and was talking low as if he was like, you know what I'm saying? And she's never been in that room or upstairs, so I don't know why he was doing all of this. And so, what do boy moms do? Like, yes, absolutely, Zoe one on one. I'm always going to listen to my son, always, because he's a very smart boy and. He always is going to know that no matter what happens, he can talk to his mother and his dad without judgment and without being made to feel badly. When I was little, I told myself, when I have kids, I'm going to say, I love you to them all day. Because I, when we would watch TV, people would say, I love you. And I would be like, why are they saying I love you? Because we didn't do that in my house. It was very strange. So I tell my son, I love you probably at least a hundred times a day, at least. And Zoo used to do that while the baby was in my stomach. He would just keep saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. Yes, High 4C said that Caribbean culture can be a little hectic sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And also the change of culture, the culture's uh, shift um, as well when you're not from a particular country and, and or your family isn't from there. It can be very alarming. But... It is what it is, I guess. I don't know. However, me and mine, that's very different. 
Were you guys, did you guys say I love you in your house? Yeah, like, even that's true. Like, when I went to high school outside of where I grew up, that's when I saw friends telling each other, I love you. And I used to be like, ew, what is, why are they saying that? You know, it was very, it was very s strange to me. Um, And then I... And then I realized how important that, that saying that is to to just everything and everyone. Um, not saying it just to say it, but you know, I, I then I realized how powerful that was. Yeah, maybe it is a Caribbean thing. Is any Caribbean people here? Did y'all used to did did y'all say I love you? in your house. I see you, Bobby Shiesty. Lex Pretty Pretty, she said, no, the older generation showed us that they loved us, never told us though. Yeah, that's what I was always told. I was always told, um, you don't have to say I love you, you show it. Yeah, but let's not. I mean, come on. Could you imagine in this day and age right now telling your child that though? Telling your child, I don't have, your, your child, your own child. Because it's not a matter if you're telling the person saying I love you doesn't mean a person loves you. You have to show action. Like that, we get it. We get it. Great. But I'm talking about if, a ch if your child mentioned that. Would you not, like, say clearly that's something that would make them happy? So I'm going to say a billion gajillion times if I have, you know what I mean? Like, what's the big deal? Someone said, I even tell my dog I love him. Dope. You know what I mean? I think I'm like one of the only I love you sayers in like <laughs> I'm trying to think I'm th I'm trying to think even like my my favorite 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 aunt did, she, did I used to say I no nope no nope. but I used to just not understand how come like on TV the families were saying I love you and I never saw any other any families in in our neighborhood saying I love you to each other.
Yeah, like I I feel that my generation of parents are the first group of parents that have been like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we see Nikki said, I don't like when people tell others I love you when they don't mean it, though, but it should be said more within families, especially Trinidad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you, here's the thing. We grew up feeling loved. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, Trinidad or whatever island country or whatever, you know, African country, whatever. We grew up feeling loved. Like, we definitely, like, most of us didn't grow up feeling unloved, right? From, from our parents not saying that. But I'm saying... If it gets brought up by a child, would you not be like, oh, clearly, let me start telling my child this. Because clearly they, it might be, it, it's bothering them for them to mention it. At Nikki's baby doll said, what about the ones who didn't have it being said or showed? Well... And what about the ones that had to be a grown-up way too soon when adults didn't know how to adult? You know, it's so much, so much um, unresolved trauma. And I hate that if you had to deal with that because I can't imagine a worse feeling. Not hearing I love you, not feeling loved for a child. Oh, Cheeks wants to know if she if she can have upgrades for LA while we over here talking about saying I love you in our communities and our motherfucking cultures. I'm about to get my massage. Papa taking his nap. I ain't using Papa nap time and talking to nobody about no motherfucking upgrades right now, Cheeks. Papa already done made me have to fly the lady out, fly the lady back. He gotta pay me back too. Coming on his uh thing um yeah at the king papa one said, my mother still till this day runs from this conversation. She will get very angry so the conversation is never had. That happens with so many people. You know, sometimes people just need, you know, they need themselves therapy to figure things out before they can properly love anyone else, you know? But, but thank God, God puts other human beings in our path for a reason. Friends, co-workers, customers, clients. And you, and you get to experience full love at some point. You will get to experience full love, unadulterated love. Some people who had a great childhood end up extremely sad people. You know? So you just 
You just got to be thankful and keep it the fuck pushing. Whereas people that had a, had a sad childhood or traumatic or maybe a violent childhood, they vow that, a lot of times they vow that they're not going to, like, let their children have to deal with the shit they went through. So they go super, super duper hard or poverty, you know, stuff like that. So they work extremely hard. Um, so on the flip side, I guarantee you even though this is fucked up to experience, I guarantee you the person who wasn't told they were loved and wasn't shown they were loved, I guarantee fucking to you by the age of 35 years, 35, 35 years old, that person is smarter and more... Um, successful than the person who had everything flawless childhood. Because when you don't have to work those muscles of understanding and figuring out how you will navigate issues that will come, whether you want them or not, when for the first time you're experiencing you know, how to motherfucking manage money at 25 years old. Listen, I've been, in the hood, you managing money at a very young age. I'm going to keep it all the way a thousand with you. In the hood, you managing money at a very young fucking age. You become a hustler. Anybody, that's why, that's why so many drug dealer turned rapper stories because they've already proven to be a smart business person. A person that's born with everything, they don't have to know how to manage money. They never had to go to school with the fucked up sneakers and be laughed at. How do I plan to teach Papa the hustle? I will not ever teach my child the hustle because what is the hustle? I won't teach him anything fraudulently. What hustle? I will teach him Integrity, honesty, gratitude, Caring about people for who they are and not what they have. Treating each everyone with respect. Being a generous person. giving praise to God and to not take anything for granted. He, the hustle is different than those things. That's like saying the struggle. And I will never call that or put that on my child. 
my child will never struggle. That's a term that people use for lack of certain things they don't want to say. However, however, being poor or being rich or being middle class or being wealthy, the same rules apply in life. So please understand that, okay? The same rules apply. Doesn't matter how rich you are. If you corny, you corny. Doesn't matter how rich you are. If you ugly, you ugly. It doesn't matter how rich you are. If you know, like, if people don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, people's, peace, there are, there are, there are rich people who can still authentically be themselves. So that's the only thing that I would want out of him, but because I can't teach him something that he hasn't lived in that way, you know, like he's never going to know. How can a person understand that? How? But he will know money doesn't define people. He will know that. He will know that money doesn't make people better than other people. He will be taught that. He will know that he's going to be hanging out with ev all of his family members. In the hood. Wherever the fuck they are. Okay? Okay? Because that's where his parents came from and that's what made us who we are today. And we are proud of it. Every motherfucking minute of it. Like, when you think about it, how do kids that grow up in, like, California or, like, being rich, how do they, how do they figure things out? It's like, sometimes I feel, sometimes I feel for them. Because they want to get out there and earn their scars, you know? But what parent is going to not try to make life easy for their child because life wasn't made easy for them. But then... Yeah, like, then it's, it's like, they, you know, can't be in that rich bubble that I I only associate with these people. I only go to these people. You know, I, these are my friends. Like, that is dangerous. <laughs> That's dangerous because, and why I say that is because what happens the day that they do finally experience something other than that.
you know? But I will say, I don't judge or look down on any parent. You know why? We're all figuring it out. We, everybody's human. You are human. You're figuring it out. And even though there's a lot of unresolved pain and a lot in families that has started in poverty or trauma and, or whatever, but at the same time, I do recognize now that I do recognize now that even the parent didn't, you know, they didn't get a book on telling a guide telling them how to do that and how to raise a child, giving them everything they want, but still teaching them um, the true, the the meaningful, you know, things about life. Um, yeah, it, it definitely is different for everyone, you know, but yikes. It sure ain't J 90s bad. It's not easy. It, it seemed a lot easier to me, too. Okay, bye, Shiny Wooji. Shiny Wooji said they gotta go. Okay, so guys, um, so I just wanted to, I was coming on here at Galaxy Radio to tell you guys, do not work my motherfucking nerves if I follow you on Twitter, okay? Do not retweet no dumb shit, do not comment no dumb shit, do not reply no dumb shit with two followers, because then I'm going to think you a paid motherfucking mole trying to figure out a way to get your $15.89 from dumb peoples. Okay. So once I exile you, you will be screenshot as well, so everybody can exile you as well. Because we have to prepare for leg two of Gag City. Gag City fucking reloaded. Okay? So as we prepare for liftoff and prepare for landing, please, fasten your seatbelts. And be smart. <clears throat> oh, mamita. Oh, yes, thank you. I would have hung up without mentioning this. Now, mamita. <laughs> Dad, I guess nobody wasn't going to think about if I was going to eat today. Um... Um, oh, yeah, about Mamita. First of all, I love Mamita. I love Mamita, but I have some other stuff. So Mamita is from the, from the vault. 
But there's other stuff that I love too that's not from the vault. And so just trust. Trust the process, guys, okay? And Who said they would be coming out one by one? Hmm? Did I ever say that? Yes, my songs. And who else is it gonna be, man? Yes, I said that. So if I said that, must I say it again? Yes, there's going to be leg, leg two merch. It's already done and ready for you guys, okay? Is this, does this the tour customer service? I'm not eating kid, kids kid crackers, so so guy at the boca. You wanna see me? You wanna see me in that motherfucking arena? So Um, all right, y'all. So I'm going to go out. We're going to do a quick commercial break. For the ones that want to hang out for a second. Um, I have exactly. Well, I also can't stay on here until that time, but we're going to have to do something that involves a lot of talent. But. If you want to stay on, guys, so whoever gets to come to the studio, um, I'm going to play you guys a lot of the vault songs that I've never played. And we shall see what happens, okay? Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> Eddie Bitty Tiffy said, can we bring our phones? Eddie Bitty Tiffy, is you a pay mom? Try to steal my ideas and go and take them to the market chair. Mm -mm. You can't. Leave your phone right at your hotel, ma'am. Thank you. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do a commercial break. And then I'm gonna come back. What kind of music do y'all want me to play? Cause I was about to go into my, my dance hall bag, you know? But I be forgetting a lot of y'all is Americans and y'all don't, and y'all be trying to hate on my playlist. What's y'all top three from Pink Friday 2 right now? Go. My sons, why would you sing Pink Birthday, say Pink Birthday when you know that's one song and I said top three? Romeo Dream said R&B, everybody fuck the club up. 24KTRE said bomb bomb, my life R&B. Barb Zora said my life cowgirl red will be sleeves. Lex Pretty Pretty said big. I said top three. And here we go again. Ryan Dior. What do y'all think my top three is today? Wait, hold on. Let me write it down. Hold on. Do not say nothing yet. All right, then. Hold on. <laughs> okay. My top three today is... I literally just said don't type nothing yet, but here y'all go. Mm. Okay, so first of all, <clears throat> let me say this. Whenever I give my top three, it should be assumed that Are You Gone Already is my top, top, above my top three, okay? So let me make that clear. So... Let me see who got the answer. Nope. Hmm. There's no prize for this, but someone did get it. Mrs. Enjoyment, what's falling for you? Barbie Dangerous and Cowgirl. <clears throat> Let me say something. What else? <clears throat> All right, no. Let me pick my other top three. My other top three today is... Um... Mm, Okay, go. What's my next top three? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. 
Um, pretty good. Uh, pretty something. Why? One of my top three from the other one is not gonna be in my new top three, sweetheart. Get it together, guys. No, not today, boo. Nope. Nope. No. Oh, nope. No, 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 nope, 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 you know what, nobody ain't get it yet. But what I'll do is I'll extend this answer, this question, for the rest. Wait, ooh, hold on, hold on. Let me see if somebody got it. Let me see if somebody got it. Oh, no. No, I, no, nothing that was in the last group would be in this group. Barbs, turn on your listening ears, okay? If four guys, if falling for you was in the first group, where someone already guessed that correctly, falling for you, Barbie Dreams and Cowgirl, <clears throat> falling for you is not going to be in my second group. Please open up your. Oh, someone almost had it. That is a a Bob that's very in tune with me. I didn't see the. I didn't see their name. But they must know me very well. Okay, guys, listen to what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a quick break. Okay. But you guys can answer this question until I come off, okay? You, got, you can answer it while I'm on a commercial, but you can really answer again when I come back, if you'd like, okay? Whoever gets the answer to it. Their prize will be that I'll either follow them on Twitter or if I already follow them on Twitter, they'll get to nominate a Bob for me to follow and I'll follow that Bob. Okay, Austin said, no, I don't have Twitter. Okay, um, well, I'll think about another prize. I'll be right back. Um, let me see what I should play. <clears throat> All right, when did the bar? Oh, yeah, they got my wop wop. Holy ground. Um. Okay, no, 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 no. Y'all didn't think of nothing good, so now I, I shall do my own playlist again, Bobs. I'll see you in a few minutes. Love you. Where I wanna go with it? Um. Where I want to go with it. Oh, you know what? Let me see how I sound on this. I forgot about this one. You know, when you got to get up off here. Because that's like one of my favorite motherfucking verses on the album. And I done fucked around. And, well, Barb's. So, in the meantime, what I've been doing is, you know, I've been getting in the zone. I've been getting in mode. And um, now I have to do what I got to do. Um, now, I gave Juice his gift, um, whether or not he wants to share that with you guys, that's on him. Now, Papa did not take his nap when I thought he was. No, Papa did not take his nap. So, 
let's see how this goes, child. But yeah. Now, let's end by saying God protect you, cover you. Dear God, please bless and protect all of the barbs. And please help them in their choices. Please meet every need of theirs. Please give them joy and peace and success and prosperity. Please give them a level of discernment that would protect them at all times. And cause them to find true love and cause them to love themselves truly. And cause them to see the good, even when it's hard to. Cause them to enjoy their lives and to appreciate their lives. And may you continue to bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, okay, guys, I love you very much. Have fun tonight. I have things to do. And, um, and, and Papa don't either. But I have to work now, guys, to, to be honest. So I will check back in with y'all. I love you so much. And I will keep you updated on when we're announcing the winners for the other stuff. Thank you for fucking with me. You're welcome, boo. Thank you for um rocking out. Um, yeah. All right. Love you.